why not civil disobedience against one of the laws that actually stops people from getting rich in this country? That's a good question, and that's something, I think that's something, uh, that's something worth thinking about as we go forward. This video is brought to you by ForkFest.Party. It's gonna be a party. Couldn't you think of something to do that's civil dis with the 200,000 pages of laws on the book? Couldn't you think of something to do that's civil disobedience that doesn't interfere with anyone's travel? Well, one thing we want to do is we want people to take the time out and to listen. These issues are important. It symbolizes how in our country right now, a lot of times there are so many things that are happening that a lot of times we're just too busy to pay attention to. So today we wanted to, the symbolism was we wanted to get everybody's attention. And this is an issue that impacts all of us, these issues. But blocking the road is something that's essential to the poor people's campaign in the uh, abhorrent across the country. So all throughout the country today, you have, in 35 states, you have people blocking the road. I mean, there are drug laws, there are, uh, you know, uh, victimless gun laws, there are victimless anything you name it laws. Practically half of what we did today, you and I, was probably illegal. You could bre break any of those laws openly and be arrested for that. Why is uh, being arrested on a road any better? Well, you said there are drug laws, so you wrote down a list of well, drug laws and, and, ex and et cetera, et cetera. Well, you wouldn't, you wouldn't want to use drugs or anything like that. That's, uh, you know, that's, that'll be doing harm to ourselves and we're trying to break that cycle in our society right now. The road though, like I said, the road, <coughs> the, the road really for, really for us symbolizes the fact that, uh, that, that, that really this is a time that, this because these, these are issues that impact all of us just in the same way that when you block a road, it impacts everyone. These issues such as um, child poverty, and the issues that women have to face in the workplace in a variety of other settings impacts everyone. And it's time for us to stop and to listen and to have meaningful dialogue, to raise our voices and to hopefully bring about meaningful change. And we're going to come back next week. Hopefully, we're going to bring somebody else. Bring and we're going to change the damn world. You know, uh, we, we, we talk about how poor the poor are, and they are poor in the United States and everywhere. Uh, or part of that's because of laws that prevent you and me from hiring them, except under certain circumstances. You know, like I actually did civil disobedience myself once. I went and hired a homeless guy and paid him slightly less than minimum wage to just sit there and take money. Right, and I could have been arrested for that. They chose not to arrest me that day. Uh, why not civil disobedience against one of the laws that actually stops people from getting rich in this country? That's a good question, and that's something I think that's something uh, that's something worth thinking about as we go forward. All right. So I appreciate that. Okay. Well, I always like to have a constructive idea as opposed to just bragging on other ideas. Uh, he wants to know more, and you have a whole. Story hey, Arnie. About, about how are you? Yeah. Still recording. About the road. What's here? Still recording. Right, good, good, good. So why did we block the road, Arnie? You have a whole. Well, I think the message to today about. was basically stop. People need to stop. That was the message for today. We stop. Need to, we need to <coughs> stop and pay attention to these systemic evils that have been ignored for too long. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. If I recall, I did something approaching civil disobedience against you once. <laughs> so, didn't I show up in your office and protest against your organization's support for an income tax, or am I thinking about I someone think else? You showed up once, and I wasn't there actually. Okay, that's right. But I think I was at the Council of Churches when you showed up there. Okay, I remember I that. Remember I didn't remember you being there. State House when you were doing a Henry David Thoreau puppet show. Okay, all right. So I remember that. But do you, do you support an income tax in New Hampshire? I do. Okay, so this is my question. The income tax makes people poor. So why do you, why, how can you be pro-poor if you want to tax on, people? Uh, that would, it would make uh, wealthy people less wealthy. But that doesn't necessarily make poor people more wealthy. Isn't the latter what we it want? It depends on what happens with the resources. If the money that the state gets from taxes, which we do get money from taxes. We're not a taxless society. We get money from sales of liquor. We get money from property taxes, we get money from business uh, profits taxes, business enterprise taxes, interest and dividends taxes, and then the question is what does the state do with them? 
and does what the state do with them contribute to general prosperity and does it contribute to increasing equality or does it uh, only benefit some people Ugh, it's and never benefit benefit others. It's never benefited me <laughs> well, that's, that's your personal opinion then. and I'm definitely I went, I'd say I went to public school and felt like I got a good education as a result of, uh, of my parents and other people paying taxes and you're with the AFSC right I yeah, I'm okay. Uh, New for, 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 for the uninitiated, that's the the American Friends Service Committee, also known as the Quakers. Okay. <laughs> All right, thanks, All right. Arnie. I All appreciate right, your time. All right, good. All right, take um, care. That's what you'll be doing to yourself if you forget if you if you forget to attend Fork Fest. What is Fork Fest? Well, it's a little bit like Pork Fest. It's also in New Hampshire at Rogers Campground. But you don't have to wait for it to start to participate. Go by their website, check out the forum and the chat room. Get involved in planning it. Forkfest.party. It's gonna be a party.